Hi there, Michael Yeh here from UCLA Health Endocrine Surgery, and today I'm going to talk about taking calcium after thyroid surgery. If you're watching this video, it probably means you had a total thyroidectomy. One of the risks of a total thyroidectomy is low blood calcium levels. This happens because the surgery affects all four parathyroid glands. These are the tiny little glands that are attached to the surface of the thyroid that control calcium levels in the body. Remember, there are two on each side for a total of four parathyroid glands. These glands can be become briefly stunned, usually just for a few weeks after surgery. During this time, we can support your calcium levels with supplements. The amount of calcium you'll need to take after surgery is dependent on your parathyroid hormone level, also known as the PTH level. This is measured with a blood test about one hour after your surgery. If your PTH levels are good, the calcium dosage is 1,000 milligrams by mouth twice a day in the form of regular strength Tums, also known as calcium carbonate, and each Tums tablet, regular strength, has 500 milligrams of calcium carbonate per tablet. How to take it? Two tablets in the morning and two at night. Most patients on this low-level calcium supplementation plan will no longer need supplements by the time of their two-week postoperative follow-up. If your PTH level is slightly low, you will need some more calcium, specifically calcium carbonate, 2,000 milligrams twice a day, that is four Tums tablets twice a day. Then we're gonna add a second medication called calcitriol, once again, calcitriol, that's a prescription form of vitamin D at a small dose, 0.25 micrograms twice a day, of course, by mouth. Calcitriol is a small oval pill that helps your body absorb calcium more effectively. Now, if your PTH is quite low after total thyroidectomy, then we're gonna use a higher dose of calcium and calcitriol. Let's go through the details. Calcium carbonate will then be 2,000 milligrams three times a day. In other words, four Tums tablets three times a day, and then we're gonna use a little bit more calcitriol, 0.25 micrograms, three times per day. If you're on the high dose regimen of calcium and calcitriol, it means your parathyroid glands are more asleep than usual after surgery. Do not worry, this is usually temporary. What's the process of weaning off calcium and calcitriol? If you're either on the medium or high dose, we will tell you at your two week follow-up appointment how to gradually taper off the calcium and calcitriol. It will take about six weeks as your parathyroid glands recover. It's important for us to cover symptoms of low blood calcium levels. When you're taking calcium after a total thyroidectomy, it's important to remember that the first sign of low blood calcium levels is a tingly, pins and needles feeling around your mouth, lower face, fingers, and sometimes the toes. Very low calcium levels can cause muscle spasms in your hands or your legs, or even cramping. If you have any of these sensations, please take four Tums tablets immediately and call our office for advice. Once again, I'm Dr. Michael Yeh from UCLA Health Endocrine Surgery. Thank you for watching.